Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codes Arcade. In this section, I will be showing you how you can display the month and the year of a calendar with the help of a Python program. Before starting this video, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos and also subscribe to our channel Codes Arcade and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates and you do not miss out on our future uploads. Thank you. So let's get started. As you can see here, I'm inside my PyCharm. So today's topic is, as I said, I will show you how to display a particular calendar year with the help of a module in Python, which is known as the calendar. You can also print or display a particular month with the help of that particular library or module. So let me just go to my project panel and in my Codes Arcade directory, I will create a new subdirectory. Let the name be calendar and then I will press enter. So in this subdirectory, what I will do is I will create a new Python file. Let the name be month and year calendar and then I will press enter. So thus we have created the Python file. Let me just minimize this project panel. Okay. And in order to utilize or use the calendar module, we don't have to do any prior installation because this is an inbuilt library in the Python compiler. So we can directly import it. So here simply I will use the import statement and I will import the calendar module. So as you can see, as soon as I type CA, I'm getting the suggestion calendar. I will press enter. Now, let me create a variable year underscore data. And inside this, I will ask the user by using the input function year data. Give the year data. Enter the required year. And just to give the control to the next line, what I will do is I will use the slash and escape character. So this part is done. And guys, you need to be careful here because the implicit way of using the input function means that we have all the data in strings. So in this case, we don't want a string data type. We want it to be in the integer data type. That's why I will use the int keyword and I will give the parenthesis. So now whatever data will be provided by the user will be explicitly converted to the integer data type because we want integers. Otherwise, this program is not going to work. Now let me create a variable info where I will store the fetched calendar data. So I will call my calendar library and if I use the dot, there is a method which is called the calendar and inside the parenthesis, I will use the year data and press enter. Now, if I simply print my info variable, I will get the output. So let me run this and show you what I exactly want you to show. Right click, run. And now it's asking me for the required year. Let it be the current year only 2021 and press enter. So let me just show you. Yes, this is the current year 2021. And these are the months January till December. So this is working properly. And simple, right? You just have to take a variable year and take the user input of the particular year and then you have to create a variable and it can be any name and then you have to call the calendar method and if you use the dot operator you will get another sub method which is called the calendar and inside the parenthesis you have to provide the parameter which is the year data or this variable then if you print this info variable you will get the output of the particular calendar year now let me show you the same thing for a different year i will run it again and let the year be 
1987 which is my year of birth and if i press enter you can see i am getting my 1987 year data january till december so this is working fine now what if you want the data for a particular month of a particular year in that case let me take another variable month underscore data is equal to then i will take the int and the input function and here i will ask the user to enter the required month and then i will use the slash and escape character to give the control to the next line now this is done and here i have to make certain changes to the info variable or this method so let me just delete this line of code and here we have one method calendar dot month and if i press enter inside the parenthesis we have to provide two variables the year and the month so here i will call my year data variable comma my month data variable so this is fine now now if i print this info variable it will fetch me the particular month data of a particular year so let me run this again right click run and now it is asking me the required year so let it be the current year only 2021 and enter then it's asking me the required month let it be the current month only that is august so if i press 8 because august is the eighth month and press enter you can see it's displaying me the data for the month of august 2021 which is the current month and to cross verify just let us check today is 25th and it is wednesday so it's absolutely correct so this is how you can fetch the data for a particular month of a particular year now let me again show you for another month of a particular year i will run it again run and let me go to the required year say my birth year only 1987 and i'll press enter and let me go to the october month so 10th month i'll press enter and you can see october 1987 and here i was born on a saturday 17th so 17th here you can see and it is saturday so this is absolutely correct we are getting the proper output so this is how you can use the calendar library or the module and with the help of it you can display the data for a particular year calendar or the particular month calendar of any year i hope you have understood this if you have any doubts you can ping me in the comment section i'll be very happy to clarify those doubts and if you like our videos please share it with your friends and family and also subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates and you do not miss out on our future uploads so this much for today thank you and happy learning see you guys in the next session bye bye